are watching educational broadcasting channel i want uh, in our uh, previous uh, program we studied about the inorganic compounds and their examples right so i briefly explained the uh, importance and the there are uh, functions uh, division syndromes of uh, minerals and the properties of uh, water right so today we are going to study about another example under inorganic compounds that are vitamins so uh, as you know vitamins are also important into in the biochemical reactions right vitamins uh, are like two types like soluble in uh, water soluble and water insoluble the vitamins which are water soluble are vitamin b and c right vitamins insoluble in water are vitamin a d e and k right so uh, the following table shows the uses of uh, vitamins and their deficiency syndromes so a uh, first type of vitamin is the vitamin a the use of vitamin a is formation of visual pigments right uh, next the important in eye vision it is help to help in the eye vision right then third point is to keep uh, skin healthy and fair right so for these uh, functions we need vitamin a then the deficient syndromes are night blindness so the word uh, night blindness means that uh, the your vision is poor at night right then bitter patches in the eye so uh, from this uh, given uh, picture image you can clearly see what are bitter patches in the eye right then dryness in the skin right your skin become dry due to less of vitamin a then blisters on knees and elbow right so the picture shows how uh, the blisters are form right mm -hmm. then uh, diseases associated with the respiratory tract right so these symptoms caused due to the vitamin a deficiency then second time second type is vitamin b so here the users are maintenance of nerves right then to maintain a healthy skin right to have a healthy skin you need these vitamins right and formation of bone marrow as you know the bone marrow is an important uh, thing which is here to produce uh, cells in our body so uh, the formation of bone marrow is for that we need vitamin b right then maturation of uh, red blood cells and for the antibody production specially we need vitamin b right uh, then the deficiency syndromes are like beriberi so here uh, this beriberi is causing the heart failure you can see the image uh, anemia i explained the anemia in my previous uh, program i did so there i explained uh, what is anemia that need cause due to less of uh, red blood cells or hemoglobin then uh, third is the dryness in skin right and change in complexion so the uh, complexion changes that mean the color uh, your fair those things changes that is shown in the picture and the reduction of the antibody production is there right so you know antibody is an important thing to fight against the uh, uh, foreign uh, microorganisms so this uh, deficiency of vitamin b cause the uh, less production of antibodies in our body right so then the third one is vitamin c uh, the main use is to keep our skin more healthy then to form uh, enamel right so you should know where the enamel is right enamel is something which is in your tooth right it's a thin uh, outer covering of the tooth that is the enamel right so this enamel is formed by vitamin c help of that then to synthesize the collagen fibers right so uh, the symptoms are uh, weakening of gum 
right internal bleeding right the bleeding is occur through enzymes you can see uh, these things through these images right they delays the recovery from disease right it delays the recovery right and scurvy you can see it's another kind of gum disease you can uh, this is the image of that right then vitamin d right so vitamin d the major use is it control the absorption of calcium and phosphorus right so uh, symptoms are like tooth decay uh, tooth decay right osteoporosis like these things will occur right then uh, vitamin e right vitamin e the use is growth of uh, tissues and cells right it helps in the growth of tissues and the cells then symptoms uh, are like premature birth right pre mean uh, before right so that means the premature mean the that mean birth take place uh, before that mean take place uh, two three uh, weeks before the due date right due date of the uh, birth right then uh, increase rate of breaking down of red blood cells right then a uh, weakness in cell division right dividing of cell is uh, weakened through the uh, deficiency of vitamin E then weakness in reproduction right will occur right then the vitamin K vitamin K is there uh, to produce the components which are needed for blood clotting clotting like to form a blood clot right to coagulation of the blood right so the symptom is it delays the blood clotting right so uh, as here I explained all the uh, uh, necessary uh, information on this uh, first lesson we discussed about uh, what are organic compounds, inorganic compounds, examples under organic compounds, and examples under inorganic compounds, their properties, functions. So all of these uh, things were discussed in my, uh, in this uh, program, right? So uh, we will start the, our second unit, that is the motion in a straight line. Okay. So before I explain about explaining the uh, points, first we'll see this diagram, right? Uh, you can see this is a path a child takes, um, a person takes to move from point A to point B, right? So if he moves in a, a straight path, it takes like 100 meters uh, length, right? So like that the length varies in here right so uh, I'll give the definition for distance distance is the uh, the, the path travel that means uh, the length of the path is the distance right so there's another term called displacement right displacement is uh, Edit can only make the other one. Maybe. Maybe I can help. Will it? No, no, you may talk to them. Okay, so uh, distance is the length of the path and displacement is the the direct direction between two points for a particular uh, direction right that is a displacement right so here see this uh, diagram right so uh, you can see what is the distance and displacement right displacement is the direct path between two points so the starting point is a ending point is b right and it should have a direction also right so you can clearly understand that the direct path to uh, b is this length right that is uh, 100 meters to the east right but the other lengths 150 180 120 200 meter these lengths we consider them as the distance right uh, 
so in the displacement you have the you need the magnitude and the direction so a physical quantity uh, which can be described sorry a physical quantity with uh, which can be described using a magnitude is called uh, scalar quantities right so examples for scalar quantities are like uh, time uh, speed mass right uh, is there distance is there so the physical quantity uh, which can be described uh, by its magnitude and the direction are called vector quantities examples acceleration uh, displacement velocity are some examples right so uh, here uh, you have shown in here in this diagram you can see the path taken by a child right to travel from the home to school right or from point a to point uh, d right so uh, here you should be able to uh, clearly identify what is the total distance and the displacement right so the distance is the path travel the total length the child has traveled right so you can see from a to b there is 100 meters then B to C, there's 400 meters. Then C to D, there's 200 meters, right? So addition of all these uh, uh, lengths is the distance, right? But the displacement is the straight line or the uh, direct uh, length, right? That is marked in this diagram with the red color, right? With the A to D, you can see a line is a straight line is marked with red color, which is five, uh, 500 meters. That is the displacement of this uh, this uh, activity, right? So the distance is uh, you can calculate by adding AB, the length of AB, and uh, BC plus CD, right? So AB length is 100 meters, BC length is 400 meters. CD length is 200 meters, right? When you add them all, you get 700 meters, right? So, next you have to calculate the, find what is the displacement. So, displacement here, you can clearly identify it has 500 meters, right? This is a, another question, right? A child uh, walks 100 meters along the straight path, uh, which is marked as AB, right? Then he turns back and walks uh, along the uh, walks back for 50 meters, right? Here you have to find the distance and the displacement, right? Before finding the uh, these ones, uh, you have to uh, draw a diagram for this, right? So it says like child start from point A right and travels a distance b right and the distance is given as the, the walk length is given as 100 meters right and next it says like then he turns back then from b he turns back and come another 50 meters right so you can mark this point as d right now we have to find the distance and the displacement So, based on the previous explanation, you should be able to identify, uh, calculate the distance, right? So, distance is the total path the child has traveled. So, he has traveled from A to B, right? A to B and, sorry, uh, A, B length. And again, he has traveled from B to D, right? So, you have to add the both lengths. A, B is 100 meters. B, D is 50 meters right all together you are getting 150 meters length right now we have to find the displacement 
So to find the displacement, you have to get the shortest distance between two points, right? So the point, the starting point is here, A. The ending point is here in D, right? So you have to find this gap to find the value for the D, right? So to find that, you get, uh, now the total is now A to B is 100, right? And the child has walked 50 meters back, right? So it's easy to uh, calculate the displacement, 100 minus 50, right? So you can get the answer as 50 meters. So the displacement in here is 50 meters. Okay, our next topic is uh, speed, right? So, uh, okay. so you have heard, right, uh, the accidents are caused due to the uh, vehicles moving at higher speeds, right? So as you know, there are some regulatory speed uh, limit are assigned in different roadways, right? Uh, so the, these are assigned to prevent the prevent these injuries, prevent these uh, accidents, right? So uh, the definition for speed is the rate at which a given distance is transversed, right? So we can develop an equation for speed as speed equals So we can develop an equation for speed as distance divided by time. Right? So if you assign the uh, units for this, distance is meters, time is measured in seconds, right? So the second is in the uh, denominator. So when it comes up, right, this is plus 1, when it comes up, it becomes minus 1, right? So m is minus 1, or meters per second. This is the unit for speed. Vehicles uh, moving in roadways cannot maintain their speed all the time, right? And uh, when there is a he heavy traffic, right, uh, the vehicles have to slow down their speed, right? And if there is a pedestrian, pedestrian crossing, even uh, they have to stop their vehicle, right? And when there are uh, less vehicles in the road, uh, they can these uh, they can maintain a uh, common maintain a constant speed, right? So here we will uh, study about the two instances, like where the the speed is maintained and where the speed changes with time, right? So uh, the distance transversed by a certain object. Uh, at different uh, instances in time is shown in the book. Here, uh, if there's a question, if someone, if, if we need to find the uh, distance uh, transverse during the first second, right? So uh, the below table shows the distance transversed by a certain object at different instances in time, right? So uh, here, if you need to find the distance which is transversed during the first second, 
right c you have to subtract uh, 0 from 3 right so the distant transverse is 3 meters right when you are finding the distant transverse in second second it is 3 minus so you have to minus, subtract 3 from 6 then 3 meters right so if you get the fourth second also you get 3 meters so from this it explains that uh, the object is transversed in uh, 3 meters during 1 second time interval. In 1 second time interval, the distance transverse is 3 meters. It is equal, right? So, this explains that object has moved in a uniform or a constant speed. The next table, this table, uh, next table shows the motion of another object which is described uh, according to this uh, table, right, this data. See, their time and the uh, distance transverse like 0 seconds, 0 uh, distance. In the first second, it is 3 uh, meters, 2 seconds, 5 meters, it varies, right? So here you can see the distance transverse uh, in the uh, first second is 3 meters. Then the second second is, it's like 2 meters, right? When it comes to the third second, it is four meters right so the uh, the more distant transverse is differs from one second to another right so in such instance right we have to calculate our mean speed So here we have to calculate the mean speed. So there you have to get the total distance travel should divide by total time duration, right? So the total distance in this graph is uh, in this table is eight, 18 meters, right? The time taken is six seconds, right? So when you simplify this, you get three meters per second. So that's the mean speed of this uh, this path, right? Uh, so this is the end of our uh, this first part. So we, have, we will discuss the other uh, parts of this lesson in the next program.